Notre Dame recruiting fans, welcome back to the channel. Thank you for joining me. My name is Brad Husby, and today we'll be talking about the 2023 Notre Dame football recruiting uh, big board situation, whatever you want to call it. So big developments happened this week. Jackson Arnold, who most saw as Notre Dame the favorite for, took uh, a visit to Oklahoma last weekend, and that has since set the tone in this recruitment. Jeff Lebby, their offensive coordinator, who was just at Ole Miss, Ole Miss was probably in second for Arnold, uh, even though he had an Ohio State, Florida, even Bama had offered. So Levy and him have a phenomenal relationship, and him going to Oklahoma, it's only two-something hours away from home where he lives in Denton, Texas. I think that's had the, the tone of this recruitment. So with Jackson and Arnold looking um, unlikely at this point, we have three names to know, and a fourth if you want to say that. So the fourth um, – I would say is Nico Imaliva for, from uh, from down in California, Warren High School. He is looking like, I don't know, UCLA, Oregon. There are a lot of schools, but that's that's besides the point. I just don't think that's going to work out for Notre Dame. The three to know, Avery Johnson, Christopher Vecino, who you are watching right now from Alabama, and then Dante Moore from Michigan. Moore is target one. Um, I think we have all known that. Now, for anyone saying that Jackson Arnold wasn't a take or Jackson Arnold was getting slow played, that's absolutely incorrect. Um, Notre Dame ha has given him a committable offer for a very long time, maybe even his since he got the offer from day one. He is a phenomenal player, a top 50 player in the country, in my opinion, and Tommy Reese is not an idiot and knows this. So for anyone saying Tommy Reese screwed the screwman up, I just don't think so. Um, Tommy Reese did everything he could. And, hey, it's a long time till signing day, guys. Um, Jackson Arnold may not be locked in. Now, he hasn't even committed to Oklahoma yet, but this is all going off speculation that he will. So keep that in mind. Um, but back to Dante Moore. He's target one. Michigan State and Michigan are probably the two main schools to know. He was actually just at Miami um, for their big junior day recruiting event. He was down there for a seven-on-seven -seven tournament, and then he will be making his way up to Oregon, I believe, next weekend for their uh, big junior day. But – as of right now, I think it's still Michigan State, Michigan, and Notre Dame. I think he stays in the Midwest, and he's a five-star quarterback. If he is a five-star quarterback, Notre Dame landing him would be absolutely massive. So we'll see what happens. Um, right now, I'd say Notre Dame probably is 40, uh, 45, 35% odds to land him, a little below half, but you never know. Next, we'll go uh, to Christopher Vecino, who you're watching right now. He's probably the second biggest target. He was probably a little behind Arnold in the totem pole. At least it's, that's how I see it, and rankings say that as well. But Vecina is a freak. I, I think he he's a take no matter what, and I think he has been for a few months now. Um, Clemson has him right next to Arch Manning in their totem pole of quarterbacks. He'll actually be visiting the Tigers next weekend. Some people think he's on commit watch for that visit. We'll see. I hope not because um, if I'm Notre Dame, I'm pushing for him. Loves Notre Dame, strong Catholic school kid. Um, sees the opportunity in South Bend. I think he's better than Steve Angeli. I do, I'm not going to go out and say he's better than Buckner. Buckner, as Trent Dilfer said, has the single best highlight tape I've ever seen in my life. and He never played a senior season, so we can't really go out um, and say a ton about Buckner because we never even saw the, the final product of Buckner. But, yeah, really, really high on Vecina. Um, I think he's a very talented player, as you're watching right here. And then, finally, Avery Johnson, three, four-star from, from Mays, Kansas. This is a dual-threat guy. Um, I think he's a great second quarterback in the class. I don't think he's a great lone quarterback in, in the class with what Notre Dame needs to do at that position. Now, I think they'll talk to him some more because of what's going on with Arnold most likely, but you really got to land with Cena, uh, Arnold, or more, in my opinion. That's just – I think all Notre Dame fans would be extremely upset if anything happens less than that, if anything less than that happens. Now, Johnson is a composite four-star according to 247. He's a good player. But I just don't think he's at Notre Dame's level. His junior film just wasn't as good as Vecina's, Arnold's, and more. So, yeah, that's the video, guys. Thank you for watching. Make sure you drop, drop a like and comment. And that's it for me.